lights up on Washington Heights and at the break of day I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away Pop the grape at the crack of door, sing while I wipe down the awning Hey yo, good morning In the Heights is about these people that they want to get out of, it's called the barrio They want to get out of the barrio and they basically live on this block and this block means so much to them and it's got this guy's corner store, a salon, um, a dispatch center, and Abuela's house. And Abuela's like the heart of the story. My name is Haya Wehab, and I'm playing the role of Nina. Uh, this is my first lead role, and it's a, been a really fun experience. So Nina, she's the daughter of Kevin and Camilo Rosario, and she goes to college in, at Stanford, and she ends up losing her scholarship. So she comes back and she has to tell her family and she feels like she's disappointing them. And it's really cool being Nina because going from like a role that had no speaking lines or anything to being able to tell the story in like a different perspective. Huh. I'm Isaiah Bivens. I play Sunny and in, in the Heights. I am Moose El Shabaji and I play Graffiti Pete. And in the Heights. And in the Heights. Yes. Working with my best friend and acting with him, you know, as my best friend in the play can be very delightful. We work very well together. Using it's, our, our it's actually really fun. Our friendship chemistry. Yeah. There's chemistry improve the show. Off stage and on stage and it's actually, you know, it's nice. Once you get past all his flaws and all of his goals. I have them. Looking good is not a flaw. This play is probably my favorite, and it's sad that it's my last one, but I think it's the right way to go because it would be cool to be remembered as this character than any other one. In the Heights, compared to other plays, is that it's just so modern, you know, uh, the, the clothes that we wear to the songs that we sing. Everything's just so much more relatable than something like Wizard of Oz, where it's, where it's very old school and stuff like that. Snobby is our main character, and there's a lot of like little love stories going on, and he loves Vanessa, and Vanessa just wants to get out, she just wants to leave the barrio, and he does too at one point, but they all realize like this is their home, like even though they're going to go their separate ways, it's always going to be their home, and I think that's why like this place is so perfect, Drum Club, because this is our home, like we, we're all going to go somewhere, like we're all going to move on from drama club but like this is our place and that's how their corner is like that's how the bodega the store and the salon and everything is for everyone you become best friends with people you never thought you would even be friends with to begin with and then when you like when you build a relationship with this person that's like you know like it's, they're practically like your sister practically like your brother so you're with them all the time you know this place is our home it's really sad to see everyone leave. People are going away to college, people are starting new lives, and you don't want to leave, you know? It's, it's, so many memories have been built in this place. I don't want this to be my last show. If I could do this five more times, I could. I would. If I could do this for 10 more years, I would. I love it. I love it here so much. Come see in the Heights. Come see in the Heights. Come, Come see, see in the Heights. heights. This play is gonna be awesome, so tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your grandma to come to In the Heights, because it's gonna be the best play that Crestwood has ever had, okay? Bye.